Hi everyone, so welcome back to another computing lesson. Hopefully you enjoyed the typing do now that was attached in your home learning document and get to practice those typing skills. So in today's lesson, you're going to be reflecting on the levels that you have already created. You should have created one level for your game. And so what you're going to do now is um, think back to before half term when you uploaded your level onto your class um, blog page for the first level and think about what you liked about other people's games. Is there anything that you saw in their games that you want to use in yours? Are there any uh, comments or bits of feedback uh, that you want to consider to tweak uh, your first level before proceeding with making more levels? Um, so I know that from playing other games that I really quite liked the background music in them and, and I don't have any background music in mine so I know that's something that I definitely want to change in my game as well. So you can see here that I've got, um, I'm quite happy with the layout, nothing was trapped, uh, no one told me I had to change anything. Um, Oh, sorry, I was having to play around with this before and you can see that, that I'm quite happy uh, with this uh, but there's no background music so really easy to fix. I just go into other background music and there is actually some Egyptian music that I can use. Yes, yeah, so I'm happy with that and okay it there. I'm quite pleased. So to make another level, so think about how you can make your game more difficult. So looking at mine, I know I've got water as an obstacle, but I've not got lava. So I might want to use that in my next game. Um, I want to think about maybe changing the layout. So it's slightly trickier uh, and maybe changing how the enemies move around perhaps. So I might keep that for level three. So in order to make another level really easy, uh, you just click on the white arrow here and it completely resets. Um, it gives you a, a refreshed level. And you can still go back to level one. It's just there, you just click back and forward is level two. And you can uh, remind yourself which one you're on because this one is green at the side rather than blue. You can see that it's got the default treasure chests and the default mummies, but you can change them in this level and you can change the background music as well. So you might just make it more difficult with the same theme, or you might change the theme completely as long as it ties in with the general game. So my game is about a relic hunter, so I can change the the um, the scene, the, the geography of the level uh, quite easily uh, and explain that away. So I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to try a different design. So if I go into sky, I can get some inspiration about what I could use here. So we've got dinosaurs, we've got forests. I saw earlier that there is an underwater uh, scene, so I can go with that one, so under the sea, and I could preview it like so. It is playing the Egyptian music still, so I can go in and change that now. Uh, I'm gonna change it to none at the moment because it might get a bit irritated if I'm talking over the music and, and it's playing. So if I try that again, and there we go, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and then I want to think about adding the ground. So because it's the sea, uh, we'd have a, a sandy seabed. And there we go, try that now. And just keep previewing as you did with the first level and having a look at it. So I think the thing that we want to think about is how to actually make the game more challenging on this level. So you can think about changing your starting position. You just click and drag the character around the map anywhere where you want them to begin. Mine started over here last time. I might want to actually have them start in the middle uh, and then it's a bit trickier to, um, to to find the way. So obviously you can change your wall design, uh, maybe something might be a little bit too similar to my Egyptian theme, but really I can change that later with that theme. Uh, and then having maybe, oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong one. change the color of that again sorry here we go and then it changes the color so I can uh, play around with that later uh, so I might have that branching off here like so maybe thinking about how I can make it narrow and wide um, maybe putting some blocks in the middle and you can just click to remove as well and maybe I want to make that a bit cordoned off and then actually maybe have a bit of a root here like so, and then just try practicing, making it tricky for the player, but don't use too much wall space because then you obviously do want to uh, have enough room for obstacles. So you might find it easier then to, I'm going to have some of the lava instead, and I'm gonna make it blue because it is a water theme. 
and just think about where you can put that so again you're not blocking the user and they can still access uh, the treasure and that nothing is actually completely blocked off you might maybe tease them with having a barrier like that and then they can take a shortcut and lose a life or um, so on I don't think I could fit any here maybe I'll put treasure there that might work might have made it a bit too narrow so just be reflective and think about how you can change the layout I think that's fine and then obviously what to plot in your treasure I might keep it the same so it is consistent across the levels so I'm gonna just put that in here there we go so I'm gonna have it on both sides there like that and then see if I can tempt the player to take a shortcut I think I might have got too many let's have one there see if they can get scorched by that and then you want to pick and an, an, you know, put your enemies in so last time I did have them moving around I might have maybe one enemy in particular that maybe follows you just to make it a bit more challenging so just plot them in where you think that is going to make it trickier maybe there again you don't want to punish the player too much by not having them be able to actually get past anything at all that might be enough actually yeah and then obviously and mummy wouldn't be appropriate for underwater so i do need to change that we can see here that i've got the water here yeah not not great so i want to make sure i change that now so you just click on uh, one of them and then you can have a scroll through and uh, see so there's an octopus here he looks a bit happy though i'm not sure he would be a great choice at least i've got that for now maybe i'll apply that to all of them let's preview that there we go i think they look a little bit too smiley uh, so let's see what else we've got here Okay, so I took a moment there. I found a slightly spookier looking octopus, uh, which I think is better as, a, as an enemy in this game. Uh, and I also got a picture of a shark as well uh, from um, the internet. And you can see shark, I looked up shark head uh, and I've edited the white out. It might look a little bit uh, not great because I did do it quite quickly. Uh, and what I've done with the shark head is I've changed it to random. I'm gonna see if that's actually tricky enough. Uh, he's going to wobble so it kind of looks like he's swimming uh, and then I'm going to lose a life if I get hit by him and then with the octopus again I'm going to change the sound effects maybe, maybe a splat actually is fine and I'm going to move from side to side and lose a point so I'm just going to preview what that's like now and see if it's tricky enough so again makes that noise happy with the sound effects still yeah this definitely seems a lot trickier than my last game yeah so I've discovered so I'm quite happy with that missing some decorations of course because it doesn't really feel like it's underwater themed so you can have a look here and see some game scenery I'm not sure maybe some rocks and it might be good to actually think about having a few different types of scenery um, so you can put you've got two different kinds so don't stick with just one uh, so I've got some rocks here uh, I can't use that there can I that will block the way um, maybe I can block that way though and then force the player to have to go around that route and then I can use the other idea of a decoration to pick something different so anything sea themed let's have a look Oh, there we go sea themed uh maybe some shells some starfish or something like that maybe some fish you might even if you want moving and uh, things that don't uh, do anything bad i could have some enemies as the fish and they just don't have any effect at all uh, something like that might work well uh, i think what i'll do for now is maybe yeah i'll have some i'll have a crab have some crabs dotted around uh so i can't have one there maybe here Maybe there. Got to be 
can no I've blocked that way I think I've made this a bit too narrow here something like that and then let's think about some background music might have it a bit darker this time because we're underwater wall height I think I'm okay with and maybe beachy theme for the music so let's see what that's like now Okay, obviously the beachy music doesn't work because it sounds like you're on land, so I want to change that maybe to the chimes. Something like that, okay? So your job today is to make, and then once you've made that second level, then you can make a third level as well and then have that as really your really trickiest one. Once you're happy with your game, what I'd like you to do, obviously you want to save it. So I've saved lots of versions of my game. Uh, so now it's no longer an Egyptian game. It is, oh dear. I press save accidentally then let's save it again with its proper name so it's no longer an ancient Egyptian game it's actually now a, a relic hunter game because now the theme has changed in between each one and then once you've saved it I want you to share I want you to blog about your work and hopefully, I am sorry for the confusion last time, I forgot to allow Sussex and Limerick access to actually view those blogs, which caused the uh, the mix up. So I'll tr remember that for today. Uh, hopefully that will be up and running for you. And you can see that you have a blog post, Computing Full Game Submissions. So this should be your full completed game. And then you can see here, oh, final version of Relic Hunter. Um, please play my game. Let me know what you think. And then you just save and publish, and that will be saved and published to the blog. Okay, so uh, good luck with that today. We're really looking forward to seeing the final um, versions of your games. Uh, so take care, everyone, and have a lovely weekend. Bye bye.